Hey, my little truffle, how y'all doing? It's your favorite girl, Kyla Black. So, Billboard officially dropped its top 100 list, and I'm gonna be talking about the top 10. Cruel Summer by Taylor Swift debuted at number one, and then we have Paint the Town Red by Doja Cat debuting at number two. But do y'all think they deserve that position? Let me know in the comment section below because I, for one, think Standing Next to You by John Cook made more waves this week than all of the songs at the top four because he debuted at number five do y'all think i'm wrong let me know in the comment section below moving on to the industrial plastic bag aka floppy b and her bestie megan the stallion so y'all it turns out bungas has been floppy more than we thought and here's what's being reported bungas jumps a few spots on the tiktok trend chart to number 16 and i'm like damn is that how bad Floppy B and Megan are at flopping. Y'all, I'm gonna keep Megan aside for a little bit because she was able to debut at number 32 on this week's Billboard chart, right? But Floppy B has been out here promoting this music non-stop and yet she's still trying to debut at number 16. This is humiliating, y'all, because Floppy B claims to be the it girl in the rap industry, but yet Doja Cat gets to debut on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and lasts longer with Paint the Town Red than Floppy B who use the waves of WAP to push and promote bungles but yet it flopped on all platforms how do y'all feel about this let me know in the comment section below moving on to drake and nikki y'all this is beyond shade all of what drake has been doing recently is beyond shade and i'm here to give you guys the facts so stick around drake announces going on tour a few days before nikki drops her pink friday 2 tour date is no coincidence it's all calculative y'all because drake knows for a fact nikki is competition on a whole new level let me give y'all some statistics nikki ain't competing with any other rap girls in the female industry nikki competes with men that's how good nikki is and she beats them to it in case you're forgetting so soon, Nikki is the most awarded rapper of all time in both male and female categories. And Drake is stressing for sure because he knows for a fact Nikki might outsell him and he might not be able to sell out his tour tickets. And no matter the odds, y'all, I am certain Nikki is still gonna outsell Drake. Do y'all agree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. And I'm not gonna say let the best rapper win because I know who the best rapper is. It's Nikki, there's no capping about that. Like, even doing freestyle, she outraps Drake on all levels. Literally has everyone's attention and focus at this point in time. Everyone is looking forward to Pink Friday 2, the album. Everyone is looking forward to Nikki going on tour. Like, it's been ages since she's done that. If y'all think Drake was not threatened about Nikki going on tour, why do you think he did not put her on his For All The Dogs album? Because everyone thought they were going to do a collab, right? That was what Drake was making everyone believe. Everyone was looking forward to it and that increased and boosted his hype. Y'all, people are literally paying kind of dust towards Drake to a point where he has to do his tour with J. Cole because he's looking for someone who's competent, has an organic fan base so he can leech off. Because we all know J. Cole has gone number one rec recently and he got people's attention. So what's Drake gonna do? Leech off him. Because let's be for real y'all, for all the dogs album doing, didn't do great numbers, it did good but not great. Do y'all agree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Drake is good, no capping about that. But let's be real, y'all. Nicki is the greatest in all categories. The numbers don't lie and the numbers speaks for itself. Do y'all agree with me or you have uh, something else to say? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe and do not forget to turn on your notification buttons so that I don't miss out on all the tea I'll be dropping. Thank you.